Hello everyone and welcome back to the Antic Academy. Today we're going to talk about a very new and exciting product segment and those are our brand new AC-DC converters that we call the must-haves. Now the must-haves are for you various benefits such as a wide input voltage range of 85 to 305 VAC, high 4000 VAC isolation, as well as many different certifications that we'll get into in just a second. So now, without further ado, let's hop into the course. Welcome to our presentation on the Antec must-haves. So the first thing that's striking is when you look at these must-haves, the new cases are in orange, so they're very easily recognizable, especially on a PCB. So as I was mentioning in the introduction, there are several key features that really help distinguish this new product series. So first off, we have an input voltage range of 85 to 305 VAC, an operating temperature range of minus 40 to 85, high isolation of 4000 VAC, low ripple and noise, low no load power consumption, various different protections. And these series are as well designed to meet UL 62368, 60, 335, which is the certification for home appliances, and 61558. And as you can see here with the various product pictures, we have an offering that goes from 3 watts all the way up till 30 watts. So the HEVZs can power various applications, such as applications in the industrial segment, in the IoT segment, the white goods segment, which is how we call appliances, and as well as the medical segments, because the 15 and 20 watts offer two time MOPP and are designed to meet the medical certification. And the main selling features of these power converters are their cost effectiveness and their compact size. We'll get into their size on a later slide. So why did Antec develop the must-haves? Well, initially, when we're looking at designing a power supply for a PCB and looking at designing a power supply that engineers will actually enjoy working with, there are several factors that we took into account. And then when we took all these factors into account, we came up with the must haves. So obviously cost reductions, the more cost effective the product is, the more enticing it'll be for the end customer. That's pretty simple. Again, size reduction. So if our power supplies take up less space on the PCB, maybe they can add more functionality to the PCB or the end product could be smaller. Again, a benefit to the engineer. Our HAVZs come with multiple safety standards as we discussed previously, and are also suitable for multiple applications. As we discussed previously, they have a high operating temperature of minus 40 to 85 degrees Celsius and have high performance. So now let's go and dive in depth into the various features of the must-haves. So the three to five watt models are actually one by one models. So they're very small, very compact. The 10, 15, 20, and 30 watts gradually get larger, but as we double the power, we do not double the footprint. So we're still able to offer size advantages even at higher power compared to what we see in the market. We've also managed to decrease the cost by five to 20% compared to the previous generation depending on the product series. Now, in terms of features, as we mentioned, we were able to pack a whole bunch of features that engineers love into this product. And we are also able to meet multiple safety standards. So 62 through 68, 6335 slash 61558 for household appliances. And as I mentioned on the previous slide, the 15 and 20 watt models meet the 6061 medical grade standard. So how does Antec's new HAVZs compare to the competition in terms of size? Because we have been touting how compact and power dense these various converters are, but let's actually look at what we find in the market. So compared to the incumbents, our AMEM3 and AMEM5 models are between 20 and 55% smaller. That's a huge advantage when it comes to saving overall space on the PCB. Next, the benefits of a wide input voltage range, in this case 85 to 305, it helps to overcome the unstable power grid. So if you have various spikes and troughs in your power, having a wider input voltage range is able to accommodate these spikes. These spikes can also come from surges, and this wide input voltage range actually caters to most applications. Now moving on to the reinforced insulation, all HAVZs comply with the reinforced insulation dictated by IEC 62368-1, the 
that provides up to 4K VAC of reinforced insulation to cover various applications. Now when we're looking at EMC, for audio, video, information, and communication equipment, on the left hand side we have the typical requirements, and on the right hand side we have our new must-haves. So when we're looking at the contact, our products offer plus or minus 6,000 kV, as opposed to simply 4,000 kV, and so on and so forth. And same thing for household and similar electrical appliances. On the left hand side you have the typical requirement, and on the right hand side you have our new must-haves. And again, we're able to easily meet the requirements and even exceed. So with the rapid rise of medical requirements in terms of power supplies, we're very happy that the 15 and 20 watts meet IEC 6061-1 because this opens a whole new range of possibilities and applications that these products can be used in. And at the same time, Aimtech does not have a wide offering for home appliance power supplies, but now with the HAVZs, we just expanded to a whole new market with these new product series. So we're very excited to see which customers you're able to find and how you can help them with our new product offering. A lot of the times when we're looking at a high input voltage range product, engineers tend to ask, well, how does the efficiency perform throughout the whole input voltage range? And we're, again, we're very happy to announce that, as you can see in the graph, the grouping of the various efficiencies across the input voltage range is very tight, meaning that we have high efficiencies at 85 VAC, just as we have high efficiencies at 305. So our engineering team is very proud to be able to achieve this. This example here is the AMEL 20-277HAVZ, but all the products perform similarly in this product series. And in case you were wondering, on our data sheets, as you can see the table on the right, our efficiency that we list is tested at 230 VAC. So it ranges from 81 to 87%. Now, not only are these new product series amazing in terms of the specifications that they offer, but in terms of the added functionality that you can have with a screw terminal package and a DIN rail package means that you can cater to even more customers with this product class. So as you can see, the dimensions for our screw terminal package are on the left and the dimensions for our DIN rail screw terminal package are on the right. And we have an example here of the AML 30-277HAVZ. That's what the mounting plate will look like, and the dimensions here pertain to our 5 watt AMEM 5-277HAVZ. All you need to do to actually order this package type is to add a suffix dash ST at the end of our model number for the screw terminal package, and dash STD at the end of our model for the screw terminal DIN rail package. And again, same idea here for the AMEL 20-277HAVZ along with the dimensions for the various packages. So now that we've covered the technical side of the must-have, let's actually see how they can be used in real life. So we're gonna start looking at our block diagrams. The first one is the intelligent curtain. So this is a smart curtain or smart blind, you can call it how you want, that automatically control blinds depending on various inputs. It could raise the blinds based on time, it could raise the blinds or lower the blinds based on the amount of light, and so on and so forth. So looking at our block diagram here, we see that the power is coming in to the system and the AMEM5 is converting the 90 to 305 VAC coming in to 24 volts. This can then power the motor control switch and it also powers the AMSRD, which takes the 24 volts and converts it to five volts, which is a regulated five volt output to power the MCU and the Wi-Fi module. The next block diagram is a washer and dryer. Obviously we can't talk about white goods without talking about that. Now this is obviously a very much simplified diagram compared to what you would find, but this could help a design engineer understand where AIMTECH products can go if he's not too familiar with module power supplies. So in this block diagram, we have a couple AIMTECH series, including our new high power ACDC enclosed models. So the AMES 75, which is a 75 watt ACDC converter that takes the input 
of 90 to 305 VAC and converts it to 24 volts. At the same time, our AMEL20 HAVZ and our enclosed AMES35277 NZ can also take the 90 to 305 and convert that to 12 volts to power various systems in the design as you can see in the block diagram. We also have a switching regulator here to power the LCD and other control elements of this device, as well as the AMSR2, the AIM-1LD, that either add greater isolation to the system for sensitive components, or our switching regulators, which are lower cost, which are just able to convert voltages in a cost-effective way. So in this case, the AMSR2 takes the 12 volts and converts it to five, and powers various sensors such as the water sensor, the overflow sensor, the lid switch, and the temperature sensor along with the MCU. Now we're going to look at the wall mount gas boiler. This is a device that is mounted on the wall that heats up the water for you. So instead of having a hot water tank, you would just have this device that heats up the water instantly. Therefore, you would actually never technically run out of hot water because you have this device heating it on the spot when you need it. And when you don't, we're not, you're not wasting energy heating up a hot water tank. Now we have either the AMEL20, HAVZ, or the AMES35, 277NZ, which take in the 90 to 305 VAC and convert it to 24 volts VDC. These 24 volts can power various elements of the system, as you can see in the block diagram, and also feed to the AMSRD-5SNZ, which takes the 24 volts and gives you a five volt output to then power various control modules like the Wi-Fi module, the LCD, and the MCU. Now we have the dishwasher block diagram, which again, a very typical standard home appliance. In this case, we have the AMES 75, again, our high power enclosed, as well as the AMEL 20 and AMES 35 below that convert the 90 to 305 VAC into either 24 volts for the AMES35 and 12 volts for the other two models. Now these 12 volts can then power Amtex switching regulators, the AMSR2 in this case, which power various devices in the system. And again, the five volts can also be fed to the AM1LD, which will clean up the signal and send that off to the digital isolation. And the 12 volts are also sent to the AMSR2 to then power various sensors just as in the washer and dryer. And finally, we're gonna look at the coffee machine. Again, a very popular home appliance. Now you can have smart coffee machines just like you can have regular coffee machines, but if they're a little more advanced, a little more integrated in the world of IoT, then you would be looking at the block diagram that we have here. The AC input is received by the AMEM3, which is our three watt one by one AC-DC converter and that sends out five volts and powers various devices in the coffee machine diagram, as you can see below. And also the AMESP 150-277NZ, which is part of our high power enclosed AC-DC converters. In this case, the P is for power factor correction. And this converts the input to 24 VDC and it can also power various elements within the coffee machine. Now the purpose of these block diagrams isn't so that you know exactly what these various modules can power, but just to give you an idea of where they can go and which type of customers you can approach. We think that the new must-haves are gonna open a whole new array of customers that you didn't have access to before because of all the features that I mentioned above. So an amazing price point, very high power densities, and very versatile certifications that you can achieve with these products. And we look forward to seeing what you guys can do with this new product family. Thanks everyone for joining me at the AIMTech Academy. As usual, I hope you learned something. Just to summarize, these new must-haves are a great addition to AIMTech's product line because they have great specifications, are at a competitive price point, and are also very compact, meaning they have a very high power density. If you are interested in learning more about these products, please feel free to reach out to one of your local AIMTech representatives. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.